what's up y'all welcome back to the channel so uh so yeah i did i went ahead and finished breaking down the engine so um what i'm about to do is i am going to clean this up a little bit i don't think i'm gonna paint it uh, i'm gonna just clean it up but i am gonna clean um the valve covers and all the other things i got them out here sitting now um hit them with some i already hit it with some oven cleaner and now i'm gonna I'm gonna put some water in this container right here. I'm gonna see if I can scrub some of this, this grime away. As you can see, the oven cleaner already eating most of it up. So, so I'm gonna, uh, I am gonna paint this. I think I'm gonna do like a dark gray. So all these items, I'm gonna do like a, like a dark gray. And I'm also gonna do the accessory bracket dark gray as well. So all of it'll be dark gray. So, so yeah, I'm gonna clean it up. What I sprayed on it so far is this easy off oven cleaner the heavy duty kind uh it's really strong so i got that kind of used outside and then if i was going to be inside i got the fume free just so i wouldn't be in there choking but being that i'm outside it's all good um so i'm gonna get this stuff cleaned up i'm gonna get the accessories bracket taken apart and then uh i'm gonna get it all clean today and it all depends it's a really nice day outside so i might go ahead and actually go ahead and paint i still got these hanging up <laughs> so i'm gonna uh, take these down and this right here is it goes in the valley cover that way you can lift your engine on and off so i'm gonna use that to when i drop the engine and trans in i'm gonna use that to lift it so like i was saying i'm gonna take this accessory bracket i'm gonna take all the stuff off the power steering pump the alternator and uh, and I'm gonna clean this up as well, and then I'm gonna spray this dark gray. And I'm kind of undecided. I don't know. Like I said, I know the motor had been sitting for a while. Um, a lot of people have recommended to get the injectors clean, so I may just get the injectors clean. There's a local guy that does them. I think it's like 75, 80 bucks for them to clean them or whatever. So uh, so I may I may uh, just send them to him and get him to. Get them all nice and clean. My goal is not to have any issues with this thing once I start. So I want this thing up and running. So, but I'll be right back. Let me finish, finish doing that. And then, uh, then I'll get back at it. Oh, well it is daytime. Let me show you real quick. Um, it's re -in. So that's the TA cover that I end up getting. So. That's the cover. I am about to clean this up. Uh, I thought about getting the guy to come through a sandblast, so I may just um, put an attachment on the grinder and hit all this and then just go ahead and spray it. So I may I may just go ahead and do that. We'll see, we'll see. All right, I'll be back in a minute. So I got them cleaned up. I used the the oven cleaner and some degreaser and as well as some some dawn dish detergent heavy duty uh, so i use that along with a few a few brushes old school way just scrubbing them out so i got the valve covers the valley cover and the front timing cover i got them all done so um i am gonna scuff them up before i paint them so i'm, uh, I'm trying to let them dry i'm gonna hit them uh, I'm gonna scuff them up, then hit them with some brake clean, and then I'm gonna spray them dark gray. I don't have the dark gray, so I am gonna go get the dark gray. Um, but everything cleaned up really good. I had to put some on a lot of elbow grease into it to get them clean, but they clean clean as I want them. I didn't want them. So. Of course, there's still spots and stuff like in the corners, but but I'm not really worried about none of that stuff. I got it. I got most of the gunk off that I wanted to get off. Uh, that way I can put the new gaskets and seals and stuff on and everything will be good. Um, I haven't did the oil pan yet, so that's coming next. Uh, I got to run to the store while I'm out. I'm going to go ahead and grab the gray paint. So I'm going to spray this stuff and just let this sit in it. Sit, and then I'll, I'll scrub this once I get back. Um, and then try to figure out what else I need to paint while I'm already... While I'm already cleaning and painting, I might as well try to knock out as much stuff as possible. Um, so I think I am gonna do 
uh, these brackets as well. I'm gonna paint them back black, get them all looking nice and crisp. Um, let's see what else I got. Oh yeah, I forgot. So I need to go ahead and take this off so I can paint this. So the, assess the accessories bracket. And that's probably gonna be it for the day. Um, all right, let me run to the store and grab a few more pieces. I'm gonna get this thing clean and going. So this is a couple of days later. I finally got a chance to to take get some time to work on it again. Uh, it's like 80 degrees outside today, so it's perfect. I'm just getting off work, so I got a few hours before darkness. But so what I've done so far is uh, I've taken everything apart, took all the screws and stuff off, and uh, I actually sanded down each one of these parts. The scuff I scuffed them up uh, with some Scotch Brite. And now what I'm gonna do is already, then I cleaned it with some uh, brake clean. And now I'm about to spray it with the primer. So I'm gonna put some coats of primer on them. And then after the primer, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with the paint that I chose. Uh, in between while that's driving, uh, I'm gonna switch out my tires. Uh, so I have a set of 15 by eights and 15 by 10s. These are dirty, so I'm gonna clean them up. I'm gonna clean these up. I, I want to go without the beauty rings. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if these clean up. Now nah, I might have to paint them. Um, or I may just leave the beauty rings on. Uh, and then this set that I have up there, also 15 by seven and 15 by 10s. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take these off so I can sell them. Uh, and go ahead and put these on. I'm trying to make room in my garage so I have room to work on everything. Um, so I'm gonna put those, I'm gonna clean these up. I really probably will have to paint them, so I'm gonna scuff them up and then paint them back this gray color and then put them on Facebook Marketplace for a few hundred dollars and get them sold so I can get them out the way and have some room. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. I guess I can't show you the color. This is the color that I'm gonna that I decided to go with. And it's this gray color. So I like this color, so that's what I'm gonna go with. Um, if I paint the engine block, it'll probably be black, but for this stuff, it's all gonna be this dark gray color. All right, I'll be back after I put some, some primer on. So I done let the, the primer dry, so. Now I'm gonna hit it with some paint. So I got it all primed up. And I got my yard, I got stuck with my truck. The tires on that thing is terrible. So I got stuck with the truck right here. I couldn't get it out, so I had to get my tie hole to pull it out. So pulled it right on out. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out these tires real quick. So this is the color that I went with after, this is like the third coat. So I'm done spraying it. I like it, I like the color. So this is what I'm gonna go with. Um, I did do the accessory bracket, but I don't know if I wanna keep it this color. I may do this one black. Or I may just leave it, we'll see. I do have a lot of black. Um, paint as well so I may do this one black but uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna clear it or not I may clear it I do have some 2k clear in there that I may hit it with so I may do that uh, I did start working on my switching out the wheels well, I did switch out one of them but the lugs I don't like these. I want to get the acorn, the acorn lug since they're going to be visible. So, I'm gonna, uh, so I'm going to wait and hold off on putting the rest of them on um, until I run to the store. I'll probably just run to advance and get some acorn uh, style lug nuts. That way it'll look, it'll look good while it's visible. So, so yeah, I hold off on it. I'm about to put this down, but this is probably it for the video for today. Um, tomorrow or my next video, which will probably be tomorrow, I'm going to come back out here and I'm going to start breaking down 
this any even further, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the cam. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the cam in and uh, we're gonna get this thing going. Uh, in about two, three days, I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull out the engine. So I am going to, tomorrow I'm gonna start draining all the fluids. So the fluids will be all drained out tomorrow. Uh, and then I'll start disconnecting things. Uh, that way Saturday morning, when it's time to pull it out, I can go ahead and snatch it out and won't have any issues. Um, and the guy, uh, I'm gonna call him tonight to see if he can come See if he's still able to come on Saturday. So, but yeah, here we go. Did a little bit today. So, if this is your first time. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, tell me down below. Tell me what you think. Um, how it's going so far. Um, I feel like it's going pretty good. This is my first time doing stuff like this. So, this is my first time. We're gonna we're gonna see what happens. We'll see what happens. So, all right. I'll catch y'all on the next one.